So the first time that I came to the art studio, um, I was 14, and I came to see an opening for a friend of a friend of my mom's. Um, and I, I was blown away by his work. And years later, when I was in art school at Lamar, I decided to come over here and start volunteering, basically as a way of saying, okay, dad, I can do this, or I can get a job. So um, I apprenticed here and volunteered here for probably five years. Eventually, I had a solo show of my own here back in February of 2015, and I've been here ever since. And it's my family, it's just constant acceptance. So how did you come about founding the RCU? Uh, this is 1983. I'd come back from graduate school, found no real uh, great job opportunity at the time. And, uh, you know, when I came back to home, I, I found my the woman I was going to marry, and we got married, and, and I realized I was going to be in Beaumont. She had a full-time job, and uh, there was no going anywhere. So looking at my community, I realized there was something missing, and one thing was the community of artists. We had all friends, and we were connected together at Lamar University, And uh, but you know, now that we've all graduated, what do we do now, and where do we go? And, and so the idea of the studio... Uh, came about through looking at people cooperating together at St. Louis when I was in school uh, and I thought that could work here and so we just decided that would be the thing to do and so we you know she worked at the plant and I worked you know taking care of kids and starting the art studio it worked out really well. What drew me to the art studio is, is I'm, I'm down here for this job and I have a, a need to create and it really can only be satisfied by the finished product. The whole process isn't really pleasing. Uh, I have this idea in my head and it has to be made. And it, once it's made to how I imagined it, I can then be satisfied and happy. Um, so I have this desire to make things and um, I need a place to make them. And the art studio is a great place to ha that has resources for me to be able to make my art. The kind of art that I make is very functional but also beautiful. I, li I like to work in ceramics here at the art studio and um, I've done some fiber arts as well. That's uh, the two areas that I majored in and um, I started off doing art when I was a little kid, um, just always doing crafts and drawing and coloring and all that kind of stuff, painting. And then it just went on with um, through high school and um, into college, but I didn't really take it seriously until I was in college. People may not know it about Southeast Texas, but there is a thriving, raging art community. I mean, you can throw a rock and hit an artist. Like, we're everywhere. Musicians, actors, filmmakers, everybody. And we're all so... Because of a place like the art studio, which, by the way, I've been a lot of places, there's nowhere else like it. For one thing, it gives artists like myself a place to work that, you know, after I graduated from Lamar, what was I supposed to do? I didn't have anywhere to use oil paint and power tools and burn wax all the time and kill my brain cells voluntarily. So... For that reason, um, that alone is huge. To have a space that artists can rent for a very reasonable price and have such a large space. And not only that, to be able to get feedback from your neighbor. I think that's the most important part of it for me is having that camaraderie with other artists that you interact with so frequently that they... I don't know, there's, everyone's just such a big part of my life here. And there's so much love here and acceptance here for everyone. Every kind of artist, they have band nights, we have monthly art shows, poetry nights are hosted here. Whatever the community needs, the art studio is and has always been there. I mean, they've been here for over 30 years. 
I mean, that, that has to say something alone. The art studio is definitely a necessity for this area. It's very unique. I've never been to a place like this where everyone is so kind, everyone is so nice, so open to new ideas, even if it's really strange. Like, this is the place where all, like, the misfits and the offbeats and the new kids can come and, like I said, feel like they belong, like they have a place. This place is my home. Um, these people are my family. The Buscemi's are my family. Like, they're, they mean so much to me. They've changed my life, and this place has changed my life, and every person here has touched me. And it's so important because these people, as well as kids that feel like they don't have a place, and this uh, and feel alienated or alone because they're like a misfit or an offbeat or anything different or artistic but don't quite fit in in certain artistic circles. Um, you fit here and everyone needs a place like that, at least a, an escape or something like that. I think it's important for society to have art um, as one of its main focuses so that um, creativity is, is really incubated and, and um, encouraged. Even for someone who's not an artist, to be able to look at art and appreciate it. Um, it's always interesting if you, if you go to a museum and you watch people of any age, whether it be kids to the elderly and everyone in between, uh, look at art and really take it in and observe it. Maybe walk around it. You see these people deep in thought and they could all be thinking very different things. One person may be thinking, how was it made? The other might be thinking, what was this artist thinking when they made it? What was their inspiration? Um, and I think these are things that, that are sparked in the mind that aren't really, that help round a society and round a person to be exposed to art. I am glad I, I founded the art studio. My wife and I, yeah, I think it was one of the most wise decisions we made. It was a big sacrifice on our part in a lot of ways. Uh, but it was necessary, it was needed, and I felt like if I was going to have a, um, a job, you know, using my degree and using my skills and all that, and, and just to, for me to have the community in a little selfish way, uh, for me to have people surrounding me and making art and being part of that, it, it would be, it'd be untenable to live in this town, and not that it was a terrible town, but you know, it would be untenable not to have an art community. And we had such a good art community historically. It was always artists around, always people involved and all that, but they would always go somewhere else. Uh, what we find now is, you know, you know, those people are staying in town and, and adding to the culture, uh, but people are coming here because there's a studio space. You know, folks are transferring in, saying, oh, we decided to move here because you got an art community and it looks like it's, it's active and we felt like we could fit into that. So. You know, there's, there's all kind of reasons, and, and just seeing folks who've grown up through the studio from, you know, 15 year olds helping mix clay and mop the floors and all that, and now their children are brought here to mix clay and mop the floors, and that's, that's everything. I mean, that's a beautiful thing, and that's, you know, watch people grow up through this and become, you know, uh, uh, more activated because the arts were there, and they feel, they feel appreciative we had this for them, and, uh, you know, that's the most satisfying feeling you can get that you've done something that kind of, you know, changed the world a little bit, at least in our own little world, this change going on for the better.